Panzer J back, so we got to redo um, part of the battle. So, um, Fighting Irish had two uh, jet fighters and a fighter in British Midlands, and he's scrambling them to C-Zone 11 to take part in the uh, amphibious assault. So we've got a coastal defense ship, a light cruiser, a destroyer, a coastal sub, and two torpedo destroyers against two um, jet fighters, a fighter, a light cruiser, and a destroyer. So um, just real quick, obviously I know that you can scramble planes from an air base, which is here. But again, this is kind of like um, the carrier rule uh, in the planes that I talked about earlier in the war. To me, this rule makes no sense whatsoever. I get you can scramble, but if the territory that you're scrambling planes from is being attacked by an enemy air force, okay, and all combat is simultaneous, it's not like, you know, one battle is happening and then it's all supposed to be simultaneous. How are planes supposed to scramble from a, from a territory that's being attacked by an enemy air force? So that's just um, something I... So that's why I didn't... Um, bother asking Fighting Irish if he wanted to scramble because I assumed because I was attacking the territory that the planes were based in that they would not be able to, um, they had to defend that territory. So regardless, let's go ahead and roll. We've got a coastal defense ship at a six and we got a hit with a three. We've got a light cruiser at a five. We got another three, so that's two hits. A destroyer at a four. A four, that's a third hit. And then we got three twos, the coastal sub and the two torpedo boat destroyers. So no hits there. So three hits total. So I'm assuming Fighting Irish wants to lose the destroyer, the light cruiser, and the fighter. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll for his two jets first. And an 11 and a 6. So he gets one hit. Now planes... I will take the, um, well, actually, planes can hit subs, okay? So I'm going to take the coastal sub. If I'm wrong, then I would take a torpedo boat destroyer instead. Okay, now he gets a six for his um, fighter and roll a 12, so that doesn't hit. Then we'll go ahead with his heavy cruiser, or his light cruiser, excuse me, for um, a five. And it's cocked, but I'll give him that for a four. So that's a second hit. So we'll take a torpedo boat destroyer off. And then he's got his destroyer at a four and got a nine. So no hits. So he's down to two jets. And I have a coastal defense ship, a light cruiser at a five, a destroyer at a four, and a torpedo boat destroyer at two. So first, the coastal defense ship at six. And I rolled a two. So there's one hit. The light cruiser at a 5, a 12, does not hit. The um, destroyer at a 4 rolls a 2, and that does hit. So there's two hits, okay? So then his two jets are rolling, and a 1 and a 9 that was, okay? So he got one more hit, okay? So I am going to lose a torpedo boat destroyer, and his two jets are gone. So that survives with the uh, coastal defense ship, the destroyer, and the uh, light cruiser. Okay, so now into northern England. So I had broken up my air force, so I told him that two fighters and a tactical were going to uh, northern England. I also had the same three infantry and the one artillery. So the three infantry can land uh, this first turn at ones, and the artillery cannot till the next turn. And he had two militia in um, two militia in the uh, northern England. So I've got two fighters at sixes, and I rolled a seven and eleven. So neither hit. The tactical at a 7, 11 does not hit, and then three ones, and no hits. So no hits on the first round. He gets his two twos, 
and a three and a six both miss. So we all missed on the first round. So I get two fighters at six. Well, first, um, no, never mind. Because again, I have the same question, you guys. Does the artillery get a first strike even though it's coming on amphibious assault? I'm going to say no just to be on the safe side. So that'll just attack normally. So we've got the two fighters at sixes. And we got a two and a nine. So one hit. My tactical at a seven gets a one and does hit. So then he gets two rolls at a two and a 12 and a 10. So um, the Midlands fall again. So I'll put the three infantry on and the one artillery. So that um, doesn't change. And now in, or excuse me, that was Northern England, I'm sorry. So now the Midlands, we have just two infantry left because he scrambled his three planes. And I told him that the four paratroopers were going with four fighters. I know this is a little confusing. I'm sorry, you guys, and sorry to fighting Irish and Global War 36 enthusiasts. Um, like I said, I just, I mean, I went through the rules and it just says, yes, they can scramble from the air base, but again... I assumed that if you were attacking the territory the planes are scrambling from, that the planes would defend that territory. So that was my mistake for not contacting Fighting Irish ahead of time. Um, we've gone back and forth. Um, I gave him a breakdown of exactly what was attacking what, and he decided to scramble to see Zone 11. So I had told him in the British Midlands was going to go four of my six fighters and the four paratroopers. And in Northern England, assuming that I won the uh, naval engagement, I was going to land, obviously, with the three infantry and one artillery, and then the two of the remaining, or two out of the other six planes, and the one tactical, all of which flew from Western Germany, okay, um, and could definitely reach. Now, the one thing I also did... Um, take back was I decided not to attack Sea Zone 24. So I put his light cruiser and his transport back on the board because I wanted to have as many planes as I could for the battles in England. So I've got to put my sub back on here in Sea Zone 48. And I already told him that it wasn't going to convoy this turn again. Um, you know, I made the mistake, so I'm not going to bother trying to take any money off of him uh, additionally. So I'm going to put a sub back on there in C-Zone 48, okay? So now we just have the battle for the British Midlands, and now that the three planes were scrambled and defeated, he just has the two infantry. So I've got four fighters, like I said, along with um, four paratroopers. So the four fighters are sixes, so let's roll those first. And we get an 11, an 8, and two five. So I got two hits, okay? And that's all I needed because he had two infantry left. So now his two infantry at four, and he rolled a one and a six. So he gets one hit. So I'm going to take one of my paratroopers off uh, for casualty, okay? So now let's go ahead and take the Midlands off. And we'll go ahead and put our three paratroopers down in the British Midlands. Okay. So let's see for air movement right now for the plane. So they were all based in West Germany. So they went one, two, three each to the two landing spots. So then one fighter is going to go. Actually, never mind. They're all going to just fly back to West Germany. So six surviving fighters and one tactical fly back to uh, West Germany, okay? So in West Germany itself now, I had bought four fighters to um, for the turn. So now that's a total of 10 fighters in Western Germany along with um, the tactical. So I'll put the tactical back on, and again, um, I'll put those four planes. I'm going to have to get another chip for that. Okay, so I lost a couple more ships. So in this C Zone 11, there should be the two naval transports, the destroyer, the light cruiser, and the coastal defense ship. Okay, in northern England is three infantry and an artillery, and in the Midlands, there's three 
uh, paratroopers. And then again, they back in West Germany now is uh, 10 fighters, four air transports, a tactical, and four infantry. Okay. And just one other thing that I wanted to cover, and I took the units off because the veteran had um, mentioned that um, Thesely, or however you pronounce that Greek territory, does not border Yugoslavia. It's really hard to tell. The lines are dark. Um, the whole territory really is dark down here. So I thought both of those Greek territories bordered Yugoslavia, so they didn't. So Macedonia obviously fell, but then I was um, informed from Hambone that the cavalry and the fighter could have went through Albania and then down there. So that's what I'm going to do. And Fighting Irish and Global War 36 enthusiasts are both aware of it. So uh, both territories still went German, okay? And then I put British units in the Greek territories that are still Greek, including the heavy cruiser. The only difference was this fighter would have had to go one more space to get down there, so it couldn't have made it all the way back up to Bavaria, so it's going to stay in Yugoslavia. Because it, it came from Austria, so one, two, three, four, and five, because of the extra uh, movement. So that should cover this. Again, guys, I think my uh, one of my issues here in the game is that... Um, Maybe I'm thinking too much into some of these rules that I should just take them at, at face value. Like, again, with the whole uh, carriers and planes, it made no sense to me that the planes would fly alongside the carrier instead of being transported to the attack zone and then fly off from there. I mean, it is an aircraft carrier, okay? So that made no sense. And then over here... The reason why, again, that I didn't get Fighting Irish's uh, um, decision on what to do with scrambling is because, again, all combat is simultaneous. So I'm attacking all of these territories, including the territory that the fighters are based in, with my own Air Force. So to me, it just didn't seem like you would be able to scramble. I mean, how are you going to get up and get past the attacking aircraft that are attacking the territory that you're taking off from? So again, um, that was my mistake. Um, definitely have got to learn to just, um, again, not read too much into things and um, just go by exactly the letter of the law as far as the rules go. So hopefully it didn't screw up too much. Um, I lost a few more ships. Um, it didn't affect either of the outcomes of the battle. So um, and Fighting Irish actually has a couple of more ships than he would have because, again, I decided not to go into 24. So I am a couple of ships down, and he's a couple of ships up. Other than that, um, everything as far as the um, combat turned out um, the same. So Panzer J signing off, um, turning things over to uh, the Comintern and Global War 36 enthusiast.